Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Crafty Beer Reviews. Today I will be reviewing Who Farted Everybody Wants Some Mosaic. So this is their rotating single hop double IPA series and yeah, this one is featuring Mosaic, one of my personal favorite hops. Really, really looking forward to this one guys. I think the best in the series still to this date has been Everybody Wants Some Citrus. So yeah, let's go ahead and get an aroma on this bad boy. Oh god, that's awesome. Fuck, that's awesome. Oh, that is so bright and juicy right up front. Just tons and tons of like passion fruit, mango, pineapple, super big like stone fruit, like peachy, peachy, almost kind of apricot notes. Oh god. I mean, this thing is like dripping pineapple. Super big mango, again, passion fruit, almost a little bit of like a guava tinge in there as well. Lots of citrus too, bright orange, tangerine, just, oh my god. Oh, this one smells fucking delicious, guys. Let's go ahead, check out the taste. Mmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is exactly how mosaic should taste. Huge mango, pineapple, orange, orange peel right up front. Again, just like dripping with tropical citrus fruits, you know, stone fruits. On the back end, there's like this lingering peachy tangerine kind of thing going on. A little bit of like pineapple juice, just really big. As usual, most of the hoof, you know, hoppy beers are really, really pineapple for it. I think it's just the yeast strain that they use. And this one's awesome. Really nice though. Wow. There's even a little bit, the more I sip on it, there's a hint of like a resiny dankness on the finish. Really, really nice though because it adds this kind of added layer of like complexity to it. But wow. Awesome beer. It's not... It's not overly sweet, but it's not overly dry either. There is just a touch more bitterness than in some other beers, but again, that adds a nice little dryness, which kind of helps with all these like sweeter hop, you know, aromas and flavors, and then it just makes it more drinkable to me. And for 8%, where the hell is the alcohol, guys? This is yet another just dangerously drinkable hoof beer. You know, it does have a little bit more Christmas, but it still has that nice creamier type of mouthfeel. Mmm. Wow. Yeah, they outdid it themselves with this one. Now, I know I'm going to get a few comments because, as you guys can plainly see, it's a hazy beer, but you can see through it to a certain degree. It's not that turbid milkshake look that a lot of the hoof beers have had in the past, especially the Everybody Wants Some series. And you know what? Who gives a shit? This beer tastes awesome. It's hazy. It's not as hazy. You know what? I've said it before. I'll say it again. Hoof does have some slight inconsistency issues. That being said... The ones that I've had recently have been far more consistent, far more clean, I think brighter, like I think they're starting to fine-tune their brewing process, which is just really, really awesome to see from these guys. So yeah, Stellar Beer, in terms of a rating, guys, I am going with a 9.6 out of 10. Awesome. This might be the best in the series. I can't remember exactly what I gave Everybody Wants Some Citra. Might have been the same, might have been a little bit less, I don't know. This beer is fantastic. If you guys have had this one or any of them in the Everybody Wants Some series, please let me know down in the comments below. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching this review. If you enjoy enjoyed it, make sure to hit that like button because you know what? It just makes me feel good. If you want to see more videos, make sure to subscribe. And of course, I hope whatever you're doing involves good craft beer. Cheers.